um, scripture that comes out seven days a week there scroll down a little bit to the bottom there so there's something every single day that I have going on um, out there and um, email me you can email me send me an email message at uh, worship worship at praise and and any questions or any comments that um, you like to 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 talk to me about or anything um, that's one of the best ways that you can get in touch with me because I, I am doing uh, so so much is going on so so much um, doing the work of the Lord and um, a lot of times I don't pick up uh, my phone and things like that. So email um, would be great. A lot of times I don't even check a lot of text messages. I get so much coming in. So um, send an email. Any questions or anything that you have or comments. They are always, always welcome. And um, time is flying. I'm just letting the Holy Spirit just lead me. Just lead me here. Just, Just lead me. Um, where I need to go. And I'm going to read this right here. And um, I'm reading from the NIV. Any version that you have is wonderful. Um, but get your Bibles out um, or just follow along. I'm reading from the NIV. Um, John, the book of John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 21. And this is Jesus talking to Nicodemus. And I'll begin to read. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God Unless they are born again. How can someone be born when they are old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered. Very truly I tell you. No one can enter the kingdom of God. Unless they are born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh. But the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. How can this be? Nicodemus asked. You are Israel's teacher, said Jesus. And do you not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen, but still you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How then will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of of man. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people loved darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. 
But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that was they have that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. Okay, okay, that is John 3 verses 1 through 21. And um, we see here that Jesus is speaking about um, being born again. Being born again. Being born again in spirit and water. Just what I was talking about um, before. And he's explaining this to um, Nicodemus. So go ahead and um, read again. Do your reading. And um, read the Bible every single day. Pray. Have that, that relationship with God. And um, these things you will understand and understand how important Jesus is and the things that um, Jesus sp um, spoke about. And again, in verse 20, everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. Exposed. Do we live in, in the light or do we live in the darkness? You know, so um, as Christians, we are we are of the light. We are of the light. You know, so um, basically we're on stage. We're on stage. People are watching even when we don't think they're watching. People are listening even when we don't think um, they're listening. So we have to watch um, what we say and how we act. And that's every single day. And we're not perfect. And we're going to, things are going to happen. But we just have to pray, pick ourselves up, and just keep going. And just, just, just keep lifting each other up. And in verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have ever, but have eternal life. So this is again confessing, believing um, that Jesus Christ died for us because as whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. You know, he gave his only, his best. He, he gave his only, only son to the world. By his stripes we are healed. So this is again um, Jesus on earth. Jesus doing very, very good work. Jesus preaching and teaching the word of his father. Here he's talking to Nicodemus and he's explaining things. And, and, and he just he says, no one telling Nicodemus, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the spirit. So there you have it right here in a nutshell. Um, I let the Holy Spirit lead me. Let God lead me, you know, as always. And I hope I reach someone out there by reading this. And it's just very, very important to stay connected and uplifting each other and continue to love each other, have patience with each other, and understand, you know, what we are here on this earth to do. We are here on this earth to do. And I just, I, I just love my life. I just love serving the Lord. I just love praising the Lord and thanking Him. Um, went to church, and um, there was um, Myron. I think it was Myron Butler was on stage singing, and um, it's just just a beautiful time. Had a beautiful time um, this Sunday. So I mean, it, it's just 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 such a wonderful wonderful thing. Um, Again, and I, I just say it over and over and over again because that's what it is, you know. And um, praising, worshiping the Lord, um, getting your praise on, um, it's nothing like it. And we ought to do it um, and just, I just, just can't say it enough. I mean, everything is answered. All your questions, everything. Go to God's word. Go to God in prayer and pray. So, everyone, saints, 
loved ones, brothers, sisters, I thank you for listening. And I'm going to end now. And I want you to tune in next week. And next week, um, you can get your Bibles. Um, I am going to be um, 1 Corinthians, the chapters 1 through 4 are going to be read to you and um, I will be discussing um, those chapters for you. going to be a little something different here. I'm going to have the app um, read that for you and then I'll come in in the end and um, discuss it. So uh, for next week, just get your Bibles ready and... um, Go ahead and read that. I'm pulling it up right now um, to make sure. Yep, it's going to be 1 Corinthians and it's going to be chapters 1 through 4. And it's about, I don't know, 5, 10, about 15 minutes or so, um, all the chapters together, something like that. Um, but um going to be a great time, as always. And I thank you for tuning in and tune in every every single week and tell others about the show and uh, love you guys love you love you love you Um, bow your heads and we're going to end in prayer now bow your heads heavenly father in the name of jesus i thank you father um for your words i thank you father for my brothers and my sisters Um, I thank you, Father, and I pray that um, I reached your brothers and sisters and and, and, and that um, I said um, what it was that I needed to um, get out to them. I pray that they were open and ready to receive your messages, Father. I thank you for your your miracles and your blessings, everything that you do um, for us all, Father. I thank you for keeping us safe, for watching us day and night, Father. I thank you for your Holy Spirit. I thank you for the wonderful, wonderful angels and everything that they do in our lives. I thank you for your Son. I thank you for you, Father God, Almighty, Almighty. I thank you for the heavens and the earth, Father. And I know Soon, Jesus will be coming, Father. He will be coming, and we, through Jesus Christ, we have eternal life. I thank you so very much, always, always, for sending your Son. Thank you, Father, for my life every day. Thank you, Father, for the the breath that I breathe in and out every single day. I really appreciate you, Father. Almighty Father, you are only one and only Father. I thank you and thank you for allowing me to pray and be your wonderful, wonderful daughter. Thank you, Father, and I love you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Destiny is anchored in other people. But that is not what the scripture says. Sure, we enjoy favor. Sure, we enjoy increase. Sure, God uses people. We understand all that. But ultimately, promotion comes from the Lord. So he's saying, don't let your heart deceive you in thinking that it doesn't come from him, because it does come from him. So I want to talk a little bit about waiting, because if we're going to go into this place, and we're going, why do we wait? So why is the wait? Why do sometimes things seem to be taking so long? Right? I know there's people, like I said, I know folks are waiting for stuff, and God's promised you stuff, and you got a word, but it hasn't quite happened yet. So why the wait? We're going to talk about that. Third John verse number two says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in every way and that your body may keep well, even as I know your soul keeps well and prospers. So the question is, is your soul prospering? Right? Or are you complaining about where you are right now? See, you have to understand, we're made in the image of God and we, our words are made to produce. Whether for good or in life, whether for bad and death. But our words are made to produce. The first command that Adam heard in his ear was be fruitful and multiply. We were made to multiply. And 
so we cannot complain in the place where we are. We give God praise in the place, not necessarily for the place, but watch out because complaining will hold you in that place. 